Hi ladies, I am so excited to be here with you today. My name is Jenna Clark and I was originally supposed to be here in about 20 minutes, but you know what? I got a call from the school that I have a sick kiddo and this is the beauty of this business, right? It is intended to work with you and with your schedule. So here I am a little bit early. Hopefully um, I'll tag some people later, but when you jump on, I would love to hear how long you've been with Senegence because we are coming up on not only the end of the month, but the end of the seminar year, which is a huge deal for a lot of us. Um, so I wanna talk to you real quick about how to finish strong, right? So I always use running, acronyms, images, all the things, because that's what I know and do. Well, I don't run anymore, but I used to, right? And the goal is to always finish well, to give it everything you have, even when you feel like nothing is left in the tank, right? So when it comes to our business, sometimes we feel that way with our business as well, right? I'm like, are there any other customers out there? Can I get another sale? I'm here to tell you it's all about your mindset. You can push through almost anything if you believe that and if you tell yourself, I can do this. So what I want to visit with you about really quickly today, hi, um, feel free, oh, I can't see your comments because I swiped them away on purpose. <laughs> um, but if any of my girls, are watching, will you please share this in the Fab Squad? That would be fantastic. Um, but one more, the habit of doing one more, the habit of doing something to finish well and to finish stronger than you even thought you could, right? So maybe you've already hit your goals for the month. I'm here to tell you, congratulations, way to go. Let's do one more, right? So maybe that means one more sale. Maybe that means one more new customer. Maybe that means one more new downline. Maybe that means one more live video, one more connection, one more good quality post. It doesn't matter what that one more is to me as long as it is something of value to you. So if we continue to work our business with the mindset of one more, that is going to add up significantly over the course of 365 days, right? So let's say, you know, every day I have my time block. Some days I'm working um, on customer orders. Some days I'm working on customer acquisition. Some days I'm working on booking parties or offering the opportunity. What if I do that and I have my goal, but before I'm done, I, I say, okay, I'm gonna do one more before I close my computer, before I shut off my phone. One more. Think about what that little tiny change in your mindset and in your activity can do if you do that consistently, even for 90 days, right? So I would encourage you today, if you're watching this, to commit to one more and tell me in the comments what that is for you. Does that mean one more sale? Does that mean one more booking for the month of April? Wait, what month is it? Yes, <laughs> for April or May. Does it mean one more um, new customer before April 1st? Because if so, you've got your work cut out for you, but that's gonna pay off big time, right? Especially with seminar just around the corner and we know some big things are coming. Um, now is the time to do one more, to fill that funnel, to get as much momentum building as possible. Um, and so today I just wanna simplify it and say, do one more and don't let yourself quit and walk over that finish line but finish strong, finish with everything you have in you so that when you are done, you feel like, okay, that was the best I had to give and I am gonna be proud of that, regardless of the outcome. So that's the other thing, right? Sometimes we might do one more. It doesn't always mean that, you know, I'm offering the opportunity one more time. It doesn't always mean that that one time is gonna be it, but, I did the activity and I'm gonna be proud of that because next month it might mean I have one more downline. Maybe she's going to circle back and have questions, but the art of doing one more can hugely impact your business. I'm pretty sure there's a better grammatically correct way to say that, but 
you're with me. So that's what you get. Um, so I hope you find this helpful. Please share below what you are going to commit to doing one more of before April 1st. And then when April 1st comes, you guys, I hope that it just lights a little fire in you. I love nothing more than a good reset, even if you're finishing strong, but especially if you have had a rough quarter, a rough year with your business, guess what? We're going to leave that behind because come April 1st, we get a fresh start and you get a fresh start with goals, with MUA, with all kinds of things. So get excited. Great things are coming and it's I always say the best is yet to come. Even if you're killing it, you do one more, it's gonna get even better. So I'm gonna go pick up my sick kiddo, but I hope this was helpful. Have a great um, rest of your day. Finish strong and I will see you at seminar. Bye. Oops.